minutes late. Apologies for that. I had to sort out something here. I, I just came back from a 10 kilometer walk and it was so strenuous, but I'm here and at last. So yeah, we are here today. Remember, it is four pillars in four days and we are here every Tuesday to Friday, 8 a.m. And then we are live on TikTok. We are uh, having a replay on a uh, Facebook page, uh, Naftali Ranto Solutions. And we are also on uh, YouTube, uh, Naftali Focus Talk. That is where you will catch me uh, each and every day. So, yeah, today we, we are going to talk about the pillar number three. That is the pillar in your family, the pillar in your family. So are you here? Uh, do you love your family? Do you care? What does your family mean to you? Can you, do you sacrifice your family for money or what is it? So think about that as we're going to talk about uh, what we are going to talk about today. So today I want to say to you, uh, your, your, the, the part of the principles of a strong pillar in your family, it is support, support, support. So successful families will provide emotional, practical, a moral support to one another. So when the family is well, they will support each other all the time. Even though things are tough, there's difficult moments, the family will always support each other. So they celebrate each other's successes. They offer encouragement during challenges and provide a sense of security and belonging. So when the family is well, you always feel welcomed in that, in that, in that area. You always want to be, even if you are away at work, you always want to go back home because you feel that there's something that is missing. You miss that love, that compassion that you find among your family. But today you find many families being separated. But that is why we are here and we are fixing that. So now the, the other, the next principle of a united family or the family that is doing well is quality time. The family that is well, they spend quality time together because that strengthens the family bonds. It makes the family to be able actually to understand each other. So whether it is through a shared meal activities, maybe they are doing things together, cooking, they are doing all those or meaningful conversations, sometimes just to sit down and talk or allocating time for family interactions, fosters connections and build a good memory. So as the families normally come together, uh, as often as it is possible, that build up strong bonds. So that is why you can't sacrifice your family for the sake of making money. You are making a big mistake. So the third uh, principle for today, the last one, we'll talk about shared values. Shared values. So successful families often have shared values that guide their decisions and behavior. Can we stop and think about that? Shared values. Families sharing the same values. Your family is a family that is God-fearing. Then you share that same value as a family. That will, will be a very strong principle that you can have in a family. So these values may include honesty, compassion, responsibility, and as well empathy. It's something that happened uh, sometime in this week. And we had to sort it out with my wife. Uh, because there's something that people were rushing to do. And she was also part of that. And I had to say, no, that is not for you. It, it doesn't matter if everyone else is doing it. If that is not what goes with our values as the family, you are not going to do that. And she was a bit upset, but at least she understood that. Because there are things that you need to set up. There are values you need to have in your family. If something goes against your values, how do you know you lack peace when you are doing it? How do you know this thing, it is, it is not right. It is not going according to what, what I want to happen or what my values say. You feel uncomfortable when you are doing it. And you need to follow that. You remember that consciousness? You need to respect that. Because if you don't respect how that consciousness that you have, you are going to regret tomorrow and say, hey, I could have listened to my conscience. So please don't ignore your conscience. So now I have a Bible verse also going together with what we shared today. You can go and check it in the book of Numbers, chapter number 12. You can read the whole chapter, but I, I want to highlight verse 8. It says that it was the story when Miriam uh, decided to, to, to conspire against Moses. He took Aaron and he started to say, 
but is in not God also speaking to us? Why is only God speaking to Moses? We are also here and we God supposed to talk to us. So now this is what God said after God called Moses and Aaron and Miriam outside. He said to he said to them he, on the last part, he said, I speak with him face to face. Is God speaking to them? He said, I speak with Moses face to face, even plainly. And do not and not in dark sayings. And he sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? You know, when you read this, this, this part of the scripture, if you read the whole chapter, you'll understand the whole story. But why am I bringing this here? You know, if you are living and you are a family, and if you know your purpose in that family, if you know who you are in that life, even in normal life, if, if you know your purpose, why are you alive? There is no reason for a competition. There is no reason for you trying to compete with somebody else. Why? Because you know your purpose. They say where the purpose is unclear, abuse is inevitable. So if you don't know what is the purpose of your wife, you don't know what is the purpose of yourself, or you don't know the purpose of your husband, then you are going to, you are going to abuse them. You are going to find yourself speaking things you're not supposed to, and because of that, you might be going against the purpose that God has established. Remember, every one of us living here today on the planet, we have the purpose. Your purpose is not like my purpose. So once you stand up against my purpose, the purpose that I'm supposed to fulfill, once you rise against that, you are not rising against me. You are rising against the one that gave me this purpose. So be careful. Every time you want to oppose somebody, think about that. Because you might find that you are working against, you are rising against God Almighty. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what is your purpose. Go and figure it out. Go on your knees, ask God, he will tell you. So, in conclusion, if you are watching me here and you have not yet followed my channel, please do so. You are missing out if you have not done that. And if you are on mm -hmm. Facebook, replay also follow my Facebook page in Aftaleranto Solutions so that you don't miss anything. On YouTube, follow or subscribe to my channel and you will never miss out on any of the content we are going to be sharing. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget also to share with your family and friends. And I will see you again on the, tomorrow morning. But yes, I said tomorrow there might be a surprise live that I'm going to have an interview I don't have the exact time. It should be sometime in the afternoon. So I will, I will, if you will just be on a lookout. So anytime from three in the afternoon, I will tell you tomorrow if the exact time, if I got it. And our next event here in Bloomfontein, it is on the 14th of March. So if you are in Bloomfontein, I am looking for people that want to change the world. Yeah. Yesterday I was talking to someone in Spain. I was talking to some, some people also in Gambia, talking to people in uk uh, talking to people in uh in in jamaica yesterday so we want to reach the whole world we want to launch uh, this mission in the entire world so don't stay behind if you are here you are watching me reach out to me and let's see let's let's team up we want to eradicate poverty poverty in the spirit the poverty in the family po poverty in the health and poverty in the finances so those four areas of your life if you invest your time in these four areas you're gonna have your best life in 2024 and beyond this is Naftali Ranto thank you so much for watching may God bless you have a great day together with your families until we meet again tomorrow morning I salute you goodbye